Hey guys, welcome back to Marvel Super Heroes War of the Gems on the Super Nintendo. Last time, we beat the Magus, and we are in Phase 2 of the game now with four new levels to go to. Mount Vesuvius, Egypt, the Asteroid Belt, and the Mining Complex in Arizona. Of these stages, the Asteroid Belt is probably the fastest and the one I usually go to first. And I usually take Wolverine in here, so I probably will, although... Iron Man is once again probably the advisable pick here. Spider-Man too, Spider-Man could be pretty good. But Wolverine, he needs help, we'll give him a big energy. There we go. Let's take a gem power in, and of course we're gonna use our new power gem that we got last time. I don't know if it doubles your attack power, but it's super noticeable, you do crazy damage. It's the best gem in the game, like I said. So yeah, this stage has two bosses actually. Nah, come on, I want that little energy though. Kind of a dangerous level, you don't want to fall off, because that's instant death. And these this debris flying around could be such a pain, and it, especially combined with these guys and their laser chest. Alright, let's get it together here. As I told you last time, Wolverine's usually the character that I take a beating with the most. I want that. I saw that big energy. We'll do the down attack in there, yeah! That's dangerous to do on this stage, though. Once again, Spider-Man would probably be better, because he could swing. Here we go. Rematch with Doctor Doom to the death this time. I have been waiting for you. Those magnificent gems do not become you. Only I am worthy of their power. In exchange for them, I shall give you beautiful death. Alright, Doctor Doom. I battled you with all kinds of action figures before. Although sometimes I would take the bad guys and pretend like they were good. Whenever I was playing with action figures as a kid. Ah, nuts. Good thing to do is jump as they're getting up, because you never know what they're going to do. And that's always the best situation when they don't jump. You see, when they jump, they go straight to the floor and it's slower. But if not, you can get your full combo in. But either way, it's a good strategy. And there he goes. He's down. But he is not the stage boss. I need health. The yellow gem would be very helpful right now. But I think there's some near here. I can't remember. It's been so long. Wait, that, that was it right there. scale the wall. You could do this in Mutant Apocalypse too, because again, actually that game came before this, which was interesting because, yeah, that was 94, this is 96. Ah, nuts. Yeah, if you hold up and press attack, you do their finishing blow automatically, but that was actually not smart, now that I think about it. There's probably something over there. I want to say that there is, but Spider-Man or Iron Man could only get it. But yeah, Mutant Apocalypse had better music, and just some stuff like the bosses were not just generic carbon copies of the heroes. Although this one's not, this is a genuine boss. So I like this stage, it's a nice small stage, you get Doctor Doom, and then Blackheart. So yeah, this is one of the better stages, I think, just for that, in terms of variety. So as always, we got the two health bars. I used to be a coward and just hide from this guy, and if you linger on the opposite side of the screen long enough, he'll eventually teleport and come towards you. I don't remember what I did, but... Gotta be aggressive. It was something like this. See how he's not doing anything? He doesn't attack, and there he goes. Eventually he teleports. But he's really not a threat. You just jump over his projectile, get in there, and... Yeah, just like that. I think the problem is I like to go for the combos, and something like that, he's just instantly down. Yeah, that move's a dangerous one, though. One more time, and he's down. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, Wolverine's not a bad pick for that stage. The scaling the wall helps towards the end there. Yes! That's the second best gem in the game! Or, well, I don't know, the yellow gem's good, too. I did not expect to get that, man. The, the RNG of this playthrough has been magnificent. That's the best-case scenario. Rookie, what I tell you, Bob, I'm the best there is at what I do. Classic Wolverine. Still remember I had a VHS tape where he teamed up with Spider-Man. Let's go to... Oh, I don't know. What... Egypt? This is the stage I beat Hulk. We haven't been Hulk yet. And we just got the gem that aids him in this stage. Although, I don't know, you could really do anything. So yeah, the soul gem increases maximum amount of vitality, extending your life bar, so we get two life bars just like the bosses now. I tend to use that with Hulk in this stage, I remember, but... 
I don't know. I think the power gem is still better, technically. It really depends on how good you are as a player. If you plan on taking a lot of hits, it's like, do you want to deal out a lot of damage, or do you want insurance of more health? But these are definitely the two gems. I don't know, maybe for variety's sake, we'll go with this one. It's, it's a tough pick. Hulk does a lot of damage, though, too. Like, if you played as Beast in Mutant Apocalypse, he's kind of the same. I mean, look at how huge he is, but the drawback is he's slow. But this stage has those putty guys that I was telling you last time they could put you in a chokehold. And they're evil. But yeah, Hulk, he does pretty good damage on his own, obviously, as you would expect. His special moves, too. He's got a forward-forward attack dash move forward down to forward these guys these guys are deadly you got to get them quick as they're jumping don't let them jump on you yeah there we go there's the forward attack I'll do the other move I was talking about too and his special move is a Hulk smash that rattles the whole screen and destroys everything on it. Except for bosses. And yeah, this is why you want to be Hulk. He destroys that wall so fast, even without the power gym. Actually, once again, Iron Man, Iron Man or Spider-Man, they're, they're the picks in any stage. Oh yeah, he's, he can toss people, I don't know how I did that. I think it's like down to forward close to an enemy, but that was accidental. Try to do his other move. There it is. That's the Shoryuken, like Ken and Ryu. It's that input, but he smacks him up and then slams him down. Let's get rid of these guys. You could just keep going forward and eventually these guys will go away, but... Where are you, Bob? Not! Slowly getting there. Oh, it's like so much effort to walk. And look at all these carbon copy wolverines. I think in that long play video that I did have, somebody commented how this game was terrible with all these generic... ...enemies that are just the heroes again. But yeah, that's what I was gonna say before, is Mutant Apocalypse... Well, I did say it, yeah, they, it has more variety in that game. Which, for the being first, I guess they just went lazy with this one. But alright, here we go, weird little mini-boss. I just picked something up, I didn't see what it was. health situation. See, if I didn't have the green gem, I'd be almost dead right now. And that wouldn't help. <laughs> Sometimes the inputs just don't work. But all that, that's what I like to see right there. Almost have full health again. Although this gem is weird. With my damage that I have right now, if I were to pick Hulk again in the next level, it might show on the stat screen before the stage that he has taken damage and his health will be slightly red. Even though, technically, he has full health because this is a second life bar. Man, these guys are annoying. Gotcha, there you go. Hulk doesn't take no nonsense. Uh oh yeah, that's right, this... I think there would be a health pick up there if you had the yellow gem, speaking of. Uh, gotta watch for where the spikes are coming out. Wait, this isn't how I did it as a kid. You could beat the platform and just fall, and then you avoid the spikes guaranteed. No, it's like, I didn't go far enough. Yeah, see, this is stupid. If you beat the platform, there's no way you could take damage. But here we go, this is really why I pick Hulk for this stage. Because the boss is Hulk. <laughs> Alright, that's right, I get my move off faster. How's it taste, Bob? Hulk smash! Yeah, that really didn't do much at all, that's a disappointment. That works, that's a good move to do if, like, the screen is full of enemies. Maybe in one of those putty sections, or whatever those enemies with the P on their chest are called. I'm gonna keep punching the end of the screen. Nah, that's boring. Nuts! Nah, I was trying to do that! <laughs> well, that actually kinda works. See, sometimes when you miss the combo... Nuts! Nuts! Oh, okay. Jeez, inputs. But see how I have just a little smidgen? I don't know, that might actually stay true. Hey! That's the worst gem in the game, all it does is increase your jumping height. 
So for like Captain America, it could be useful. And for Hulk. But there's so many other better gems. Did you truly believe you could beat me with muscle? We could have talked. Use your brain. That's right. But that's probably the last time I'm gonna be Hulk. You could take him to Mount Vesuvius. That might be a good stage for him. Speaking of, let's go there. And I believe I'm Spider-Man again. Iron Man's a good pick. I would say Spider-Man, Hulk, or Captain America, or Wolverine. This is one of those stages anybody's good. Well, let's go back to Old Faithful Power Gem, because the Space Gem, like I said, you just jump higher. And with Spider-Man, that's definitely unnecessary. Heal up the damage with a baby blue thing. Take in a gem power, and let's go. I like this stage. There's a lot of pickups. This first part's a little bit scary sometimes, though. You gotta have a sharp eye and be ready to maneuver. So many classic games have sections like these, like the surfing ones and Ninja Turtles. Speaking of surfing, there's like, I guess that's supposed to be Silver Surfer? But isn't he Silver Surfer, wow, Silver Surfer a hero? Why is he a bad guy? And they got a lot of those gem things just scattered around. Eventually there's health too. There we go, we got, you can only carry three gems at a time. The rest just goes into your inventory. Nuts! I didn't mean to do that little web shot. Alright, here he comes. Get ready. Oh, we got one of the weird ones that just seems to have infinite health. This happens a lot in this stage for some reason. Sometimes they go down in one hit and other times they just don't die, ever. Ah, uh, okay. Nuts! I need to keep your eyes peeled for health. Perfect. here. Yes! Oh yeah, they got all the health pickups now, right at the end. That is the end, right? I think so. So now we have kind of a normal stage here. But there's a big vertical section that has a lot of hidden power-ups, and that's why Spidey's good. Because he can swing from either side and climb the walls. And... Well, actually, there's lava on the walls, never mind. There's a fake wall, though, that's what I'm thinking of, that has a revive behind it, I think. Yeah, here we go. I want to say way over here, or am I thinking Mega Man X3? <laughs> I don't know, sometimes Super Nintendo games look the same. That's nice. Yeah, it's this wall, right down there. There it is, revive and a full immediate heal. Very nice. You gotta appreciate stuff like that. Cause you gotta remember how limited they were with these 2D things, so what looks like a wall. What? But then turns out to not be a wall. That was always novel. Why can't I jump through here? Whatever. That was stupid. I hope I don't die on this boss. We got the power gym. But at least this is a, a new boss. Unique. The thing! E thing. Alright. No, we don't want to step in the lava now, come on. Jeez, okay. Gotta be careful. Yes. That is the ideal situation. Look at that. One combo is like almost a full life bar. On Thing, who you would think would have crazy defense. I don't know, I guess that's the simplicity of this game shining through. But there's no more gems to collect, there's one more, but, obviously... The final boss has that one. So, we got one more stage! Arizona Mining Complex. This is one I like to be Iron Man in. So that means... Captain America and Hulk only saw one stage each. Cause for the final two, two bosses that come after this, I like to be Spidey because he's so quick. Heal up Iron Man, bring in two gems, and let's... Oh, this is actually... I'll go power, I think. I could go with anything. Power, the yellow gem, or the green gem. They're the best ones. But this stage is probably the hardest main stage in the game. 
You got daredevils in here, and these guys. Yes, you want to use that bomb move. These are the chokehold guys. Like that, that's horrible. I think this box has health in it though, so if I save that for the end here. Yeah, okay. Let's bust this. All right, that's just a minor setback. We can deal with it. Unfortunately, there's no dash, but I mean, that's that's your best chance is Iron Man's double forward in midair. Let's save that, see what happens. Oh, good thing I didn't pick it up. Yeah, these Wolverines, they're too short. So Iron Man's lasers are pretty much useless. I'm gonna just use the bomb. There we go, full health again, just like that. Yeah, see, that's why Iron Man's awesome for the aquarium and any stage that has barriers like this. Just bash right through it. Wasn't there also an Avengers game on Super Nintendo? I know I rented it before. It had the guy who shoots the bow. I forget his name. Oh, look, it's Thing again. And he's dead. He's not even a boss. Well, like I said, generic and carbon copy enemies. It's still fun. If you liked Mutant Apocalypse, you'll probably like the gameplay of this, too. And this is a little easier, like I said. I don't know, Capcom just made some good games back in the day. I mean, they still do. I think 90s Capcom is pretty highly revered. Is this the poison gas? Yeah, see, this is why you pick Iron Man for this. The area is filled with poison gas. Get out of there. So, our aerial double forward is gonna save ourselves. I wonder if I can bypass. So, yep. Skipped that one. Skipped that one, and we're out. Like, Hulk is terrible for that section. Because he's so slow. Unless you give him the time gem, but coming to this stage with that is kind of foolish, I think. Now, there's definitely a lot of secrets on this screen. I thought there was one back here. No, I'm thinking of the heart pickup in Flame Mammoth stage of Mega Man X. But there is something. Is it over here? No, it must be on the far left. Oh. No, there's something else, too, besides that. Yeah, like I said, though, this has a weird replay value. Like, maybe just restrict yourself to, I can only use the yellow gem every stage. Yeah, see, I knew that. Perfect. Because this boss is tricky. He has a little assistance. I don't know why it hangs like that. It always does, just to load the boss. The daredevil. With these two laser things that are a pain. So I probably will use a gem move, but we'll see how we do with just... There you go, destroys all the things and does a nice chunk of damage to him. I don't know, Iron Man is just the most fun to play as, I think. And he's down like that? Wow! I was terrible at this game as a kid or something. I remember dying to this guy a lot. So yeah, we're basically done here. I still love that shot, that's a cool picture. The heroes have collected five of the Infinity Gems and have now targeted Thanos' base. As the heroes travel into Thanos' shrine, a woman appears. I am Nebula, so you're the ones who seek to... In... what? Oh, seek to interfere with my master Thanos. There's no reason for Thanos to be troubled by you. I shall deal with you. I don't really know who she is, and I don't really read comics. I never did. I just liked the characters and the shows that they were in, like the, the cartoons and stuff. I think the VHS tape that I mentioned before that I had... Oh man, so I didn't know Spider-Man was that beaten up. We'll get all three gem moves, because there's no pickups here, it's just a fight. And bring in power. But yeah, I think it was A Star Is Born is the name of it. It was Firestar and Spider-Man. 
There was like one two with Juggernaut, and he teamed up with the X Men. Sp Spider Man teamed up with the X Men. And I just remember one scene where Wolverine comes flying at Juggernaut, and he's like, now it's my toy! He says it all weird, and then he just crashes straight into a fence, and his claws get stuck in it, and he does absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, this, this chick, you just, well, try to get in the pocket, and there you go. And now for the real final battle. Heal Spider-Man back up and probably take him into it again. I think I fought the final boss of this game with every character before. Maybe not Wolverine, because that seems like a bad mistake. There he is. After defeating Nebula, Thanos finally appears. So, you've defeated Nebula. Impressive. You seem to be determined to interfere with me. I will destroy you and obtain the gems and become omnipotent. Prepare to meet your death. Yeah, you big blue chin. I always wanted to use the gem that he has, but there's no way to do that. I don't even think it's programmed to be anything, honestly. So, we'll do a full heal, take the power gem, and grab three special moves. And hope that we can be alright, because Thanos is actually kind of tough. It just depends on how often he blocks. Yeah, the music in Mutant Apocalypse was so much better than this, I don't know. Yeah, see, he can block mid-combo and then he always gets that move in, so if that happens enough, you're kinda... you're done for. But see, the power gem, even though I'm not getting a single combo in here, he's almost down a whole health bar. I gotta be careful here. So he's a special move, that's gonna work. Yeah, Spider-Man special, so cool. Oh yeah, you can climb up here too. That's why I like Spider-Man so much, because you could climb the walls, get up top, swing to the other side, and come diving down. Just dodge everything. Yeah, that's not gonna work. See how briefly he was stunned? It was just accidental sometimes. It just kinda happens. Uh, actually, I'm kinda scared. I'm trying to get one... I gotta get both specials in. Yeah, okay. I might take the blow of the fire, though. One more. Good Spidey dodge, that's it! Please don't miss. Sometimes it phases through him, but that's it. Yeah, there's a certain frame of him holding his fist where if you try to do that move, it won't connect. I remember that happens sometimes, but that's the game. Just like that. Classic Super Nintendo, not much going on. Could beat it in under an hour, unless it's a big RPG game. See, there's his gem, the blue one. Which one is that? But yeah, that's the one I've always wanted to select, and there might be a code or something where you can? But I'm pretty sure it has no purpose in the game, because you're not meant to have it. But yeah, I was thinking of doing a whole bunch of 16-bit games, maybe. Having like a special 16-bit month or something. But I don't know, a lot of these games are just kind of bland going back to them. But I always had fun with this. This sounds like Combo Tribe, speaking of. Wish I could play that with my friend right now. That would be one I would record, definitely. Thanos has been defeated. Now the universe is safe. As Warlock looks at the gems, he says... Thank you, heroes. With Thanos gone, the gems will be safe in my hands. I'm sure that the universe will continue on its natural course. I promise to you I'll use the gems to benefit everyone. Thank you, world heroes. Yeah, there's like no plot here, really. I mean, there is, but it's... as basic as it gets. I always like this music, though. The heroes make their way home back to Earth, where their family and friends await. Will the world ever truly be safe? Find out next time, true believers. Or whatever it would say in Spider-Man. Yeah, this instrumentation is 
the Super Nintendo sounds. And the Combo Tribes, that beat em up game from the arcades. That had it too. But yeah, that's it. Nothing else. Just a little quick game. I felt like playing it again, and it's fun to play. Whether it's exciting or not, I don't know. But thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you around. Take care.